Welcome back to Kirby's Epic Yarn. Last time, we got through uh, Castle DDD, had three runs at Bubbly Clouds, or Cloud Palace, and got the gold medal on Tapas Tower. This time, welcome to the finale. Or hopefully, the, well, it is going to be a finale. Because this isn't a 30 minute long final boss. I know, a rarity for my channel. Uh, this, this background change and all that stuff is really cool. Shame that it only happens once. Yeah, shame that it only happens once. Uh, this time, well, like I already said, it's gonna be the final episode. Mostly. Aside from if I ever do streams of uh, true 100%, which I am open to doing. Let me know if you want me to do it. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it if nobody like asks in the comment section for it. <laughs> Or I might, if I feel like replaying playing this, more of this game once I'm done. But granted, all episodes have to go up first. And so far, only episode 2 has gone up. Basically, once, like, Spaceland goes, uh, starts, I'm going to have to be marching through a lot of stuff to get it done. But anyways, welcome to Benny Boss Rush. Yeah, welcome to Mini Boss Rush. Except for the boss only takes one hit to kill. I don't think you can make it to the door in, uh, one cycle of this. Stone, please prove me wrong. I'm more than welcome to be proving, than, uh, proven wrong. Yeah, it's... I believe it goes calamari. Um, well, Fangora, calamari, and then. I'm pretty sure you can get through that in this phase. One. Oh, no, it's just an enemy. Rush. Also, there is a reason why I've done that. <laughs> this is the 
I unironically the hardest and easiest gold medal in the entire game. Uh, platinum. Boss. Why? Because phase two. Yeah, a ble I think this game is what started the trend of Kirby games having a uh, soup, like a, a special final boss that you fight mainly with uh, th that game's gimmick. Like, yeah. I believe this came out before Kirby's Return to uh, Return to Greenland. Also, no, this isn't as bad as uh, Wispy Woods is. We are replaying the stage, aren't we? Oh no, I believe it, once he finally goes down, he drops a ton of leads. See you when the credits begin. With Yin-Yarn's spell broken, Dreamland returned to its normal state of peace and quiet. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Fluff said. It made Kirby sad to see his new friend leave. Buck up, Kirby. As long as you have this magic sock, you can visit me any time. Until then... Fluff said as he returned to Patchland. And that's the story of how Kirby and Prince Fluff defeated Yin Yarn the Sorcerer and restored peace to Dreamland. There is a bit of an after credit scene, but I might as well talk while we're getting there. I really loved coming back to this game after how I haven't played this in like years. Like actual years. Coming back for this let's play. I remember why I loved this game as a kid. Sure, I'm a lot better than I was back then. But I still love it, as, as one of the many contributing factors to uh, why I'm so into video games today, even. Um, it's so really good. It's like, I loved every mom moment of this game. It's not even like some of like my other life plays were. Oh, I loved it the beginning, but like I'm hearing the end, I was just exhausted and uh, not wanting to play the game anymore. This was an exception. Yeah, I spend uh, took a lot of time in between the recording sessions to not you know only recording like one to two hour chunks. 
Um, you know, only recording one to two hour chunks at a time. Sure. But... I never really got burnt out during this let's play. Granted, it was a really sh it's, this is a really short let's play. The length comes of this game really does come from uh, doing the bonus content and uh, beat farming. It's also interesting that this game started off as a Kir as Kirby, ha like kind of style as Kirby. But that crafted yarn theming would later get moved to Yoshi, of all characters. Uh, hmm. I do have uh, Yoshi's Woolly World and crafted uh, uh, Julia as crafted. I'll be right back. The next day, Kirby fell asleep in some shade. He dozed happily with wonderful dreams and held the reminder of a dear friend, even though it smelled a bit. Really great ending. Not bad. So, yeah, I can see. It. Yeah, I do have uh, Gyochi. Yeah, Twin, Jules, Julia, Jeppy. Uh, has uh, crafted. Uh, there's just crafted whatever it's called. I don't remember the top the top of my head. But I could let's play those. I don't plan on it. Hey, dog, you completed the class. You completed the flicks. New items on sale. We are not done yet. <laughs> I'll go th further into my thoughts, feelings, and opinions once we've done all the stages. And given, give final thoughts, but yeah. I really love this game. I haven't once gotten burned out while recording this, because it's not a long game. And that is a change of pace from... Uh... All my other content so far. Being... Like, more so than what uh, Kirby's Wish Squad was. Um... Yeah, even more so than Squish Squad. Metamelon Island. Hachu! Why am I personal? Like, not as great as a bee farming stage, but I did pl replay this stage quite a lot. Um, before you get worried about the car, this is not a car level, or just a car level. So, don't worry. This isn't as bad, gonna be as bad as you may be thinking it will be. May or may not be thinking. Uh, what's the gimmick of the stage? Well, we'll find out in 30 seconds. It's all, well, almost all. The only ones to get left out are tank, uh, both of the shmup sections and the um, yeah, the tank, the starship, and uh, yeah, from a hill. Tank of tank starship and the um, spaceship.
Uh, let's see if I remember all of this. Oh, and dolphin. Or not! No, I was wrong! The dolphin appears in three stages! Metamato Island... Yeah. Ah, uh, it goes to show you how much I remember of this game. <laughs> Some... Uh, for... of this power-up, because, again, it really does not appear all that often. Even though it's, like, really fun. So, yeah. I guess I'll go back on the topic of this being the, uh, game that really has started the whole, um... Yeah! You know, special gimmicks in each Kirby game. Because this has the, uh, transformations... Which is this game's special gimmick. Well, aside from the yarn thing. Which is, is a special gimmick in and of, in of itself. But yeah, this had like the super form transformations. Like the uh, ultra abilities and return, uh, planet robobots, uh, robobot armor. Uh. Yeah, Robobots, uh, Robo Armor. Well, oh. Triple Deluxe is, uh, Hypernova. You know, stuff like that. This is what kind of started this. Now that other Kirby games did not have their own um, gimmicks. But those had uh, Yeah, but those are, like, the big gimmicks. So. This is kind of... Yeah, this is kind of what started that trend. And that should be everything. Not the, Again, not the best stage to farm beads, but it's a fun stage. Minus the, uh, train. I will say the transformations are a little underutilized, but that's because this is a really short game. It's barely, like, playtime, like, like, uh, episode, I guess episode count, I should say, is, I think, barely in the double digits at this point. I don't think, I don't imagine there'd be more than... 15. I doubt it'll reach 20. Again, we are almost done with this. Oh, shoot, I didn't check. If they, uh... I'm pretty sure it was called the Galaxian. Or Galaxia. I... My brain was on autopilot at that moment. The Battleship Halberd. If you guess, this is another shmup level, this is another shmup level. The final shmup in the game! Yeah. 
aside from this game being really short, um, as well, I have quite a bit of a buffer. I don't have an infinite buffer. This is. It didn't take out as long as um, my other Let's Plays. Also, I, oh, I guess you can kind of realize at this point. I like most of the songs from uh, Kirby's uh, Superstar and Superstar Ultra. And it is called Galaxia. So yeah, I know that was a change done in modern, like. Camera 3, Kirby, which is, uh, this is the start of, I, I guess I can talk about this, there's kind of like three eras of Kirby in my eyes, in my mind, there's the original, um, the, I, I'm pretty sure I said this during, uh, Kirby's Kirby Squeak Squad, but there's very much like three different distinct eras of Kirby. There's classic, the SNES, the the GBA slash SNES games. Superstar does not withstanding. Because Superstar really is its own beast. Superstar is really its own beast that really fits more into the modern trilogy, modern uh, games than it does the, uh, aside from like, what you're doing in the. Um... Not even then, there's missions that very much uh, still feel like there will be fit right at home in the modern games. Or uh, side modes. That would feel like dick dead. I helm the modern series, so. You know, again, Superstar is notwithstanding, which is. Like, they. Like, classic is very much. They have collectibles, but you need. All of them, or certain ones. Like you need basically all of them for to get the game's true ending. Uh, then there's then there's era two, the handheld held game, the uh, the D DS GBA uh, trilogy of Amazing Mirror. Amazing Mirror, uh, Squeak Squad, and, um, Mass Attack, aka the, um, Treasure Hunting Trilogy. And then you have Modern Kirby, where you where the collectibles are, for the most part, are more like, um, Mario's Star Coins, rather than, um, where you need certain ones to open up certain level amounts to open up certain levels, and whatnot. Usually three per stage, but sometimes more. Um, I'll so say, yeah, we have done everything already. Yeah, usually three or more per stage. And you use a certain amount of them to open up the, the way to the boss. Uh, that's era three. And you can also kind of see that with the controls. Like, era one, again. Squig Squad, not, not with Stan- not Squig Squad, uh, Superstars, notwithstanding. Um...
Yes, Chippasaur is notwithstanding. Also, we're gonna go through this. So, we have 100% cast. 51% of the things. If you mind, we collect every single item in the game. We've only collected 3% of the fabric. We're not even halfway done it. We have collected all metals, tunes, and flex. Uh, let me have music on for while I talk. Um, so while we are going to do pie, and well, nah, we're going to save those for like bonus videos. Get out that runtime. Ah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna say those for, like, a... Maybe a bonus video. Look back at my other... ...saves and whatnot, because I need to tuck out my, uh... ...ancient Wii. And get that... ...recording. For date to marks. Which is going to look like shit. Because it's... ...you know... The RCA cables on IHMI because it's a ancient ass Wii. Uh. Yeah, it's an ancient ass Wii. Brain. Brain. Um. So yeah, those are gonna be safe for bottom episode, but I might as well give some final thought thoughts. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna are gonna go to at least. Uh. Okay, file one's pad. Why am I here? Loading, 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 loading. Right. Guess one last thing that we have to talk about. Sometimes, when you head to the pad, as long as you need to be in some, like, at least some of the, uh, challenges, I'm pretty sure it doesn't happen if you do one. Uh, one of the other tenants will come over. Oh, so for you, don't worry, you're gonna love it. You can prove. Wait. What? Okay, I'm learning something new in all my playthroughs I never got in this. What the fuck? So yeah, uh... Unfortunately, unlike in the remake, which one thing I'll definitely say is better about the remake is you can turn off the lights if you want. Uh, can't do that here. God, see, this 
in this room again it was nostalgic. But that's honestly what I would describe the entirety of this game being just nostalgic for me. And I said my uh, piece on this game multiple times before. I, I love it. I this is one of the reasons why I'm into video games today. Uh This game is so much fun. So, so much fun. And it shame the remake kinda on the 3DS kinda it well aside it feels different because it's on a less powerful console. Not even a question that's objectively true. The Wii is a less the the 3DS is a less powerful console than the Wii. Um but a lot of this thing just feels off, and I'm pretty sure some of it is the new power-ups introduced. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, back to the, uh, I know we're jumping around topics a lot, but back to the, uh, era topic. Like, era one is defined by simple combat, again, uh, superstar not s s withstanding. Um, era two has more complex, but not era three. Like some have multiple move sets. Yeah, Mass Attack, notwithstanding, because Mass Attack is technically a spin off. Um, and era three has the I guess epic yarn. Epra epic notwithstanding. Epic yarn. Also notwithstanding. Aside from so, so yeah, aside from that. Um Also, what gets unlocked from the shop at uh this point from beating the game is all the plushies you see. All, all the plushies. I think. For the most part. Anyways, tangent aside. Tangent was in a tangent. Um, yeah. Had more complex combat. That's kind of how I see it. Was the uh, different era of Kirby's Mouth when I turned down my mic volume a little bit because I'm almost peaking. And that's not exactly, uh, ideal. Because if you peak your mic, you sound like shit. From what I found. Um, so yeah, again, aside from, this game's very nostalgic for me. So yeah, aside from that, because I don't know everything about this game, there's many things I don't know, mainly on the, uh, extra stuff, because I used to do them because, oh my dear lord, they take way too long. Again, if we were doing all of the uh, bonus side of side games, uh, we would be here for, with we would double the length of the let play. What? But, yeah, we would basically double the length of the let play. Um, and the fact that there are the, the extra stuff, it's like really good. I enjoy them. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to probably end uh, playing this game soon. For on this channel, anyways. Because, well, aside from like the bonus stuff and also clearing out the shops, we've done everything! We have gone in all the treasures. Done every level. Which is the fight for all treasures. And we beat in the game. Darn, I put down my controller. Um, yeah, we beat in the game. We've done everything. Yeah, well, mostly everything. So, as much as I would 
love to keep rambling on at infinitum. Eh, I'm gonna try to not make this an hour-long video or half an hour of just progress, and the other half is just me rambling on forever. But I will say, I love this game. I, I'll always love this game. This is very much my comfort game. And... Uh, after... After everything that's been going on in my life so far, with, you know, finding a job being a struggle, I've talked about this before. Like, finding a job has been a struggle. Um... Still haven't gotten there yet. Um, talking on and off as friends, making making some new friends as well. But talking to friends, and also just everything that's been going on in my life so far, this YouTube channel included. Some of it has been very stressful. Ah. Uh, Yeah, some of it has been, just been very, very stressful for me. And also, just getting kind of worn down as of late. This has been such the needed, so much of the needed refresher that I, well, needed. It, <laughs> here I go rambling. Let's fuck it. Yeah. This has been such, such the refresher. After everything that's been like going on in my life, with earlier this year, I mentioned it. Uh, one of my, or no, well, not this year, not 2024, but earlier in 2023, I believe. Um. One of one of the, my dogs ha having passed away. I mentioned this before, Charlie. Charlie Daniel, the nose licking chicken. Uh yeah, was that, that him having passed away? I I've mentioned like it's. From one of, like, one of my earlier, or early, early videos, I mentioned it and said if that's the reason, if I'm going to need to take a break from recording for a while because of that. Uh, yeah, did I had a really big buffer. Still somewhat do, because I try to maintain it. That's how I can keep the daily uploads going. Um, was that happening last year? Um, again, the struggle to find a job. But ha getting an opportunity to reconnect with some old friends has also been nice this year. Oh, I guess last ish. Yeah, sometime in like December, early January, reconnecting with an old friend. Um, and also this year making some new friends that I've, like, it's amazing that, like, uh, that essentially, I completely randomly found them, I guess they found me, and we just ended up talking and making good friends. Um, B. Yeah. Like, that's been, like, helping my mood and whatnot, but also, you know, between, you know, stressful and honestly not really knowing what I'm going to be doing with my life. Like, aside from, like, this YouTubing thing, 
Um, even then, this is just a hobby so far. I'm not making any money off of it. I, I've been really thankful for the support, mind you. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm really I am really really thankful for the support. But uh, this isn't a job. This this isn't a job for now. Um, that's been like stressful and worrying a bit. Um. Until somewhat recently, I have hadn't really talked to many people or some friends because like, I'm just scared to. Now that I feel like, oh, th they hate me now. It's just that I'm not a very social person, and having been stuck in my room for all of basically 2020, 2021, and somewhat 2023. Haven't gone it out all too much. Nothing to do. I don't have money. It's like, it's been... It's been... Yeah, not exactly... Not stressful. It's not stress. It's been... It's... Something else. It's... Kind of going into a slump. Like... A rut. Like, it's been... Yeah, and... Just having people that... To talk to has been really helping me. Uh, that's why occasionally in some of my videos that you see me get distracted by my Discord. Um, shame I have infinite free time and they don't. As in, I want to give them my free time and I don't have time. <laughs> I want less. I want less. Give me something to do. <laughs> I, I would love this to be my job, but eh, it's not yet. Don't want to sap up right Patreon. Not not yet. I don't know how. Um And part of me would feel a bit guilty if I'm being honest, if I did sap like a Patreon. Like I don't like being. I don't. I didn't feel right being given century handouts. Like, like donations from like stream stuff, like a, a different story. I'm gonna feel very guilty still, but less so. Because it would feel like I actually worked. For it. I have nothing to, that I would really offer when it comes to Patreon. Yeah, I have infinite free time. Ah. Uh, yeah, I have infinite free time. I am not exactly. So, the buffer isn't going to be going away anytime soon. So, I don't exactly worry about that. Not having... ...time to record and whatnot. If, if and when I find a job. Uh, it's gonna happen a lot. 
Huh, yeah, the if and when I find a job. I'm not gonna be that worried about that. But, you know. Having people to talk to... Nice. I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. And going out and doing stuff and getting money so I can buy games that I can play on this channel. Because while I do have quite a lot of games I could play, don't know if many of them would be that um, interesting to watch. I don't have an infinite list. I want to try to avoid emulation where I can. Um... How many games I could play? Let me get off my uh, arson path list. Like, just a pile of uh, loose games that I have that I could potentially play. Uh, there's Paper Mario Color Splash. I, well, I plan to play Nintendo Land at some point. Splatoon? Splatoon 1. Uh, can't really mark, play, let's play Market Wii. Or Wii Fit. <laughs> Skyward Sword. Uh, Zack and Wiki. Quest for the, uh, Quest for Barbos's treasure. Um, can't let's play Amiibo Festival. Well, most of it. Uh, Rabbits Go Home. Not playing Mario Maker 1. <laughs> Screw that. Uh, I can't... Let's play 8. New Soup... New Soup Wii. Uh... Treasure Tracker. Captain Toad. Wii Sports Resort. Kinda let's play. Pikmin 3. Wii U. And, uh... 3D Land. Or 3D World. Are all games I... Just in the loose leaf pile. F you go out of that, um, let's fire make this now. Uh, Quest for cool stuff. Uh, don't know if that'd be an interesting one to play. Do I have anything in the color splash case? No. Do I have anything in the Nintendo Land pitch? No. Uh, I know Xenoblade's in the Xenoblade case. Yep. Yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles. One and X. Um... Metro Prime 3. And the other pile. Yeah. Give, give your uh, thoughts, feelings, and opinions on um, other games. No, I do not have anything in the um, Chronicles 3D case. I have yet to beat Xenoblade Chronicles. It, it's a long game. I haven't really been playing it. Ah, uh, Tokyo Mirage Session. FE. I've said this in previous videos. Uh, which is not in its case. It's in the uh, Epic Mickey 2 case. Um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the Subspace Emissary. Which I really want to play Subspace Emissary. Hardest difficulty, uh, of course. Uh, RE4, in the RE4 case, uh, for Wii. Also, some game, I can argue my plan to play at some point, which be a very, well, not an extreme tonal shift from, uh, my other content, so far my recent content, but, uh, yeah, it's slightly m more grittier than, um, 
home was. Uh, Tales of Symphonia, New Dawn. Dawn of a New World. Uh, which is the, so far the only Tales game I've actually beaten. Don't get your hopes up on that one, that is a really long game. Uh, Wii Sports. Meh. Rayman Legends. Uh. Twilight Princess. We. Yeah. Nor could check pick at the Wii version. There will be. There is no explaining my man. The methods to my man. The ma madness to my methods. Po Poke Park 2. And the Pikmin 3 kids. Because I don't have pieces for some of these games. But yeah, Poke Park 2. I think I might actually let's play that next. I have to think about that. So. <laughs> Smash Wii U. Can let's play that. There is no story mode. New Super Wii. Mario Party 10. Might stream 10 on my birthday. Or another Mario Party game because... Uh, you know, it'd be funny and fitting. And, huh. New... Luigi New Soup uh, is in this case. I don't think the disc works, but I do have a madness for the method. In case you're at all worried. <laughs> yeah. Those are just some of the games, like, of the stuff I have on hand. I do have access to more with, with uh, the Switch stuff. Also, wow. This coming the exact thing I have said I didn't want to do. But oh well. I'm talking and um this is kind of loosely related to uh Let's Playing. Love's not counting my Xbox games. Which I do not have many. Just, yeah. But, let me know what you want me to play next. And I'm gonna do a poll. I might play Pokebark 2. Um. So I'm gonna take a break from, again, take another break from recording. No part of me wants to record more. But we're done for it. But, uh... That's what causes this burnout. This is recording too long. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah. Uh... I also have Galaxy 2 over to play. Yeah. Uh, again, I have to think about stuff. But, mm, that being said, that's everything for this Let's Play for now. Aside from maybe streaming the uh, bonus games for True and Clearing Out the Shop. But, eh, who cares? Well, me, mostly. And maybe you. Yeah, let me know if you want me to actually do that. My coffee. So now let me know if you actually want me to do that. And, um, let me know what other games you want me to play on my channel. I'm very much open to suggestions. And after... So yeah. Until next time. <laughs>